Uh, I don't think I can film it as I do this. Trekking poles in one hand, camera in the other. I won't have anything to hold on to the rope with. But it's not that big a deal. I could probably rock hop it. It's the water source next to the shelter. Probably be one of the last two shelters I'm staying in. Isn't it beautiful? It's uh, 6.45, I just left camp, uh, the shelter. I stayed in the shelter last night. It's probably only the seventh time I think that I've done that. Usually I prefer my tent, but it was raining so hard when I got there, I just didn't feel like setting it up. Uh, great group of people that I was with last night. Um, and I, I hope I get to see them all again. Uh, a honey bun and daddy long legs, green and big bird, click, and uh, then a couple of new hikers I had never met before, uh, day hikers and flip floppers. But I uh, had a good time, and today is a big day because I'm going for a personal best as far as mileage. Uh, I'm gonna to try to make it all the way to A-Ball Bridge, which is 29.9 miles, right at 30 miles. And I've never done a day over 24 miles. So this will be a, a huge one. However, I've been assured the terrain is very forgivable and there's only a couple of little bumps, nothing much more than a hill. Uh, Still a lot of roots and rocks, but uh, should be able to make a better than two and a half mile an hour average. And if I keep my foot on the gas, I should be there by five or six o'clock tonight. Uh, and that's a pretty respectable time to get into camp. Uh, if uh, if I don't make it there, it's no big deal. Uh, I'm not planning to summit until the 10th. And I understand the weather's gonna be less than favorable on the 9th. If I make that 30 miles today, I could actually summit on the 9th, but if it's raining, I'm not gonna want to. So I'll take a zero there at A-Ball Bridge. A-Ball Bridge is 15 miles from Katahdin but you can't go beyond a ball bridge unless you're planning to summit Katahdin that day or have reservations at the base camp at the base of Katahdin, which is either the Birches or Katahdin campground. You can't get reservations unless you stand in line at a ranger kiosk at a ball bridge at four o'clock in the morning and when they open at seven, you're one of the lucky dozen that they allow through. It's really kind of a weird process, but Baxter State Park has never been known to be friendly to, to through hikers. They're very strict with their rules and they don't make it easy for us, but uh, we gotta play by the rules. So we'll see what happens, but uh, it's the beginning of a big day and uh, Pretty soon the end of a big, big year. Well, it's not even noon yet. My plans for a 29 mile day have already been nixed. I'm probably gonna trade it in for a 17 or maybe a 20 at best. Uh, it seems the terrain is far more difficult than I had been promised. Whoever told me this was a good, uh, a good easy stretch, um, probably the same person who told me we'd have flying cars by 2020. Uh, it's pretty much the roots of hell, the rocks of Satan, and the mud of Beelzebub. But uh, uh, not a lot of hard climbs, just a lot of obstacles to slow you down. There's no way you can make three miles an hour in this terrain unless you're some kind of mutant, which some of these hikers are, let's face it. 
a hell of a lot faster than I am. Been keeping my eyes open for moose. I haven't seen a moose on this trip. I want to see a moose. Come on, Bullwinkle, where are you? I've heard two of them. Not seen them, heard them. One, I was in a shelter by myself. And uh, about 10 o'clock at night, I hear what sounded like a horse walking around the shelter. I sat straight up, put my headlamp on, turned it onto the high beam, shined it out the window or out the uh, front of the shelter. Saw nothing, heard nothing. Turned the light off, heard it again. It was hooves on rocks. The only thing that makes that around here is a moose. Hooves on rocks and roots, walking around on the side and behind the shelter. Pretty cool. Everything's back behind me there. Uh, anyway, so I was within feet of a moose. Never saw him. Uh, second time, I was walking through the woods. Heard the same thing. Hooves on rocks. And I froze. When I froze, it stopped. Looked all around, saw nothing. Started moving. I could hear it. About 50 feet away. But I could see almost 75 to 100 feet away. And I never saw it. Okay, where am I going now? I see a white blaze way down there. It's a logging road or something. I wouldn't want to drive on it. I see no mooses. I'm running out of time here. I only got about two days left. AT straight ahead. This is the white blazes, what you look for. Some uh, trails do a great job at it. Some really suck. Just stick with them when you find them. Either white blaze or the Cairns, okay? I've been calling them Carns. Somebody corrected me the other day. I said, no, they're called Cairns, like a single syllable, like right here. There's a Cairn. Not a Karen, a Cairn. I prefer the white blazes, they're a little easier to find. Okay, Appalachian Trail North. That's where we're going. And I think I've got about, uh, maybe, 20 miles, a little less than 20 miles left to get to A-Ball Bridge. At that point, I'll camp, but I'm not gonna make it all the way to A-Ball tonight. Probably stop at Rainbow Springs campsite, spend the night, get up to 10 or 12 miles in the morning, be at A-Ball by noon tomorrow, and uh, plan to start going through the process to get my permission to climb Mount Katahdin, like they could stop me. This would be my last good glimpse of what Maine can look like. Doesn't always, but it's like an emerald forest. You know, trail cuts right through it. Right here, it's real pretty. The path is very easy to work. Look how everything's covered in moss. The whole ground is covering some kind of ground cover. So rocks, boulders, trees, anything that falls gets covered up. Pretty cool. So yesterday's goal was a 29 mile day. It didn't happen. Uh, far too difficult. So I ended up with a 17 mile day. Uh, camp last night with Honey Bun, Daddy Long Legs, Bucky, and click uh, 
nice tin sights, uh, had a privy nearby and a great water source, probably the best water on the entire AT. So uh, it was a good night. We enjoyed each other's company, uh, all planning our exit strategy. Um, this is basically T minus three or T minus two. Uh, I should summit day after tomorrow if all goes according to plan. If all the dominoes fall in the right place, I'll summit on Friday. Today's Wednesday. Uh, today I make it to A Ball Bridge. With any luck at all, uh, I'll make it tomorrow to the Birches, which is the base of Mount Katahdin. And then the day after that, I should be able to summit and uh, and then descend from from there. Um, the uh, the logistics of it all are up in the air, and the weather is always a big factor. And it's predicted to rain all day tomorrow and most of Friday morning. I will go up in the rain. I don't want to come down in the rain. But if it rains in the morning and I wait just a little, I can make it up there. And, uh, and that'll be it. There's Katahdin. Let's get out of your view. There it is, about 10 miles away, Mount Katahdin. Looks like it's uh, fogged in at the top, but these mountains have a way of creating their own weather patterns, their own system. That's what happened at Mount Washington, too. Yep, the Ball Bridge Campground. Maybe this is the ranger station where I check in. When I got to A Ball Bridge Campground, uh, myself, Daddy Long Legs, and Honey Bun, uh, it was only about 12.30 in the afternoon. So we decided we got nine more miles before we can get to the birches. Let's go ahead and hike those nine miles today. And then uh, we could have her parents who had a car and were nearby pick us up and drive us back to Abal Bridge Campground for the night. This way we could knock out those nine or ten miles um, without being rained on because it wasn't raining but it was predicted to rain the next day when we had originally planned to hike that. So we went ahead and hiked those nine miles or ten miles and got them out of the way. That gave us an opportunity to have a zero for the following day. Yes, you could do Good luck. Abel Bridge Laundry Room, Abel Bridge Campground. Two dollars wash, two dollars to dry, one dollar for soap, 